close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing and ask yourself, is it comfortable? If it's not, you can change the rhythm. That's the good thing about the breath as a meditation topic. You can do all kinds of things with it. Make it long, short, fast, slow, heavy, light, deep, shallow. You're in control. This is important to realize that we do have a role in shaping the present moment. We're not just presented with the present moment from our past karma. It's some, some, not something we simply have to accept. We're actually creating it as we go along. And because we do this out of ignorance, we suffer. But if we get instructions from somebody who knows, we'd learn how not to suffer. That's why the Buddhist teachings are all about actions, what to do, how to shape the present moment, how to breathe, how to, how to think. So you can have a present moment that is a good place to be and leads to good places as well. So focus on what you're doing right now and where you're going with what you're doing. We're making a good place to stay, but also thinking about the impact it's going to have on the future. That's how the principle of karma applies to the meditation, because we have to put up sometimes with a lot of difficulties and a lot of obstacles in the course of the meditation. Some people say, I came to meditate because I wanted my mind to be clear, to be at ease, and here I am suffering through pain. Well, sometimes you have to suffer through some pain before you can understand it. We're not here just to suffer or just to endure. We're here to understand what's going on. And if you can't sit with some pain for a while, you're not going to be able to understand it. So there's a purpose in all this. We're not here just to find as much pleasure as we can in the present moment. We're trying to find a pleasure that will be good now and on into the future. That's why when we're meditating, we're being responsible. Some people say, well, I'm meditating, I'm not helping anybody. Actually, if you can get your mind under control, the people around you will be less subject to your greed, aversion, and delusion. So it's a gift to them as well. And by meditating now, it's your gift to yourself in the future. So focus on what you're doing and do it well. And as you get more sensitive to what you're doing, you find that this principle that, that you are shaping the present moment out of raw materials that come in from the past goes a lot deeper than you might have thought. But start out with what you're aware of now, and your awareness will begin to spread, seep into other areas of the mind as well. 